Hi, my name is Judah Critchlow and my business is Lion of Judah Designs. I've been designing for about six years now. I started when I was in college. I went to Costat. I pursued my bachelor's degree in graphic design. I graduated in 2018. And um, yeah, I also have another side. It's not really a business, it's more of like um, I do it for recreation. It is Muse 868 where I do digital illustrations. Um, yeah, I'm just a creative. I like making art. I like photography. I like writing. Anything that's creative. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have a couple of experiences. I remembered when I would have started working, well, started freelancing, and my friends, they were also freelancing, so sometimes we would collaborate on projects. And my friend, she had a client, and it's a well known client. And we had to do a couple graphics for this client, and they were using the artwork. Um, we didn't get full payment. They were kind of fighting us, and it was like a lot of back and forth for the payment. And that is when I realized, like, yo, we need to have a proper contract. We need to do certain things in order for when we have, especially larger clients. Sometimes I realize like larger clients tend to take advantage of small businesses and, and younger creatives, especially in terms of your age, because they think that, you know, well, she doesn't know about it, so, you know, we can get away with it. And that is when um, we kind of came together and we were like, okay, we need to have certain things in place so that we don't fall short or we don't feel like we got the short end of the stick or our work is being used and we're not being compensated properly for it. Less stress. So I feel like you set yourself up for a better, a better experience as a business owner, as a creative, because you know that when you produce art or you produce your creative work that you are protecting yourself and it's not gonna be stolen. Or if it is stolen, that you know, okay, this is the course that I have to take and this is what I have to do. And you, it gives you a bit more peace of mind because you, know that there's a right way to do things and when you know that okay i am in the right and i know where i stand and although you know i might be interacting with a client who doesn't necessarily know the law or know anything about intellectual property that because i know that it puts me in a better place moving forward and even to advise um, the client as okay this is the right way to go and it just makes things better for both myself and other designers, other clients going forward because essentially it's spreading the word. <laughs> that makes sense, yeah. Definitely, I think it should be part of, if not every degree, because similar to, to other things that they don't teach you in school, like how to do taxes, how like, what is a mortgage, like simple things like that. Intellectual property is something that everybody should know about because even if you're not in a creative field, you, everybody creates, everybody has thoughts, everybody comes up with ideas. So knowing the importance of that and how it could benefit you moving forward, I definitely think it's something that everybody should learn and it should be in every degree. Even if it's not in a degree, you should touch on it in secondary school or just somewhere along the line so every student coming out of the schooling system knows what intellectual property is. I would say uh, know who to listen to and uh, get advice from the right people because it's one thing to, when you start to know, if you have a lot of questions and you know, you're just trying to ask, you're trying to figure out what is going on, how should I do certain things and you might not always get the best advice depending on who you ask. So I would say definitely, and that all, that comes back to like building your network and like having that community, knowing who to ask the right questions to ask too because when you start starting off you kind of also don't know what to ask like okay I'm starting this business and I'm a creative person so you're just gonna start creating but there's also the legal side of it and like I said before a lot of the times it's overlooked because it could be a bit intimidating as well when you hear the word law <laughs> so I feel like that's part of it and 
creative people, a lot of creative people I know, they just want to create. They don't want to have anything to do with, you know, accounts or literally anything. They just want to sit down all day and create. If I could be like that, I would as well. So I just think it's really um, looking at all aspects of it and not just thinking about, okay, I'm a creative and I'm just going to create. There are a lot of other things to consider and it helps safeguard all as a younger self growing up and developing and it would influence the experiences that you would have because if you safeguard yourself from young you protect yourself from clients who don't want to pay or people who steal your work and everything so definitely getting the right advice from young i think i would definitely I encourage anybody who wants to go down the creative path because I've seen all the opportunities that it opened for me. I feel like there is a stigma because, you know, people will be like, oh, well, you know, you're not going to make a lot of money from that. And that's usually because people don't want to pay. <laughs> so if we are paid properly, we would make a lot of money. And I feel like we are the ones that have to change that mentality uh, for both design or creatives and clients because we are the voices and we uh, I would say we have to implement the change. I remember my dad he sent me an article some like about two years ago talking about um, jobs that are least likely to be taken over by artificial intelligence and graphic design was like seconds on the list because again intellectual property and creativity it is original ideas and it's things that you know it could be copied but it still has to come from somewhere it has to come from a thought and an idea and all the experiences that you would have gone through your life so I would say once you are able to embrace that and um, present that, be, be confident in yourself to present that as your creativity and your intellectual property, then you would be successful because I feel like the world needs originality. We would need people to come up with ideas because that is how everything is created, you know. So when I started my degree, even before I started my degree, I would look around and be like, we have signs everywhere. Everything is a sign and somebody had to design each and every one of these signs and it had to make sense because it's a form of communication. So just seeing that and knowing that it's all around us, it made me feel a lot more comfortable pursuing this because you just have to keep at it. You just have to be consistent like anything else. If you want to exercise and you want to be fit, you just have to keep at it. And there's a space for everybody. Everybody is an individual and everybody has their creative ideas so just be yourself and be expressive don't feel like you need to hold back because if you hold back you are doing the world an injustice because the world needs creativity to to go around like everything is creative everything is ideas and thoughts so. <laughs>